Das podcast the delhi edition now i know what you're thinking why is your bathroom so tacky because i'm in delhi is that a flower print behind you because i'm in delhi why did you just call me a because i'm in delhi well did you bring the lolly lamp with you this time <laughs> oh so you don't need the lolly lamp anyway but to delhi huh yes because he fits in delhi big head small let's begin with our top story of the week segment i like to call big shit so Sonia Gandhi came out all guns blazing this week ladies and gentlemen I'm, I'm sorry I said that wrong all bofos blazing when she was asked about her recent court cases she was quoted as saying I am the daughter in law of Indira Gandhi I am not afraid of anything what like not even like chipkali so like sorcerers now there are two possible interpretations to this statement number 1 I have been in a family of politicians all my life I know how this stuff goes Oh you think this shit is scary you should have met my mother in law who now madam with due respect being indira gandhi's daughter in law is a couple of things it is for instance a legacy some court cases a huge inheritance Shh. but the one thing it is not is a superpower it doesn't just absolve you of all fear you're italian not an avatar it won't suddenly work in all fear related situations I am the daughter-in-law of Indira Gandhi. Oh my god, a typhoon heading towards the Philippines. I am the daughter-in-law of Indira Gandhi. <sighs> oh my god, Loki has stolen the Tesseract again and has killed all of the Avengers including Iron Man. I am the daughter-in-law of Indira Gandhi. I'm really sorry, madam, but if you want people to think you're fearless, don't say I am the daughter-in-law of Indira Gandhi. Instead, why don't you try saying I raised Rahul Gandhi. You try teaching that kid multiplication. This chick is fearless. Okay, Raul. Two into seven is youth empowerment. That's a roar. Okay, okay, okay. One into seven is youth empowerment. Okay, 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 okay. Zero into anything is the number of votes we are going to get. Correct. Oh, good boy. Oh, you. Let's move on to everything else that happened in the week segment. We like to call. Quick shit. This is a really interesting story, ladies and gentlemen. So this week, the government decided to auction off some of the pieces of property and items that belong to Dawood Ibrahim. I'm not sure how it went, but I don't know too many people who would buy stuff that belonged to the Don in a public auction. How does that even go? Hey, chal chal chal. Pila item, buy cover, sofa ka flat. Abu ne isko na two crore mein dikta aega. Jo ladki log milega na flat ke andar, wo bhi de raha hai. Move. Chal chal chal. Two crore going once, going twice. All right, this is a cool story. The Dalai Lama came out this week and said that, in his opinion, ninety percent of Indians are tolerant. That's right, ninety percent. and we all know that must be true because hey the dalai lama said it i'm sorry i trust the dalai lama for many things you know such as wisdom enlightenment toga fashion statistics is not one of them also where does the dalai lama get access to stats does he get onto the wifi network at the monastery is there like a lamastats.com Oh, maybe it's intuition. Lama Suresh. Yes, His Holiness. I believe that ninety percent of India is tolerant. Ooh, is that like a fact? No, but if you believe something, then it will be. Ooh, I believe India is tolerant, so it will be tolerant. So did you also believe that like Tibet was never going to be invaded? Yeah, go fuck yourself, Suresh. Here's another really cool story. This week, Donald Trump came out and said that all Muslims should be banned and barred entry to the United States of America. I don't really have a punchline here. I just wanted to say this: Donald Trump is a. He is a. Like a big. Like if your caffeine content measured how much of a chunk you are, Donald Trump is the triple espresso of. He's like a. 
grande. In 20 years, when the Oxford Dictionary officially accepts the word ch under the word ch which comes after like chunky or chum or something, you will see a picture of Donald Trump that just says ch This is a really big story, ladies and gentlemen. So India and Pakistan are talking again. It's really cool. Yeah, and there's no cricket match and there's no bookies, like legitimately talking. And it's Sushma Swaraj who did this. She sent them like a little olive branch and then they sent back like a an opium tree and people got high and shit, it was nice. No, apparently Sushma Swaraj set up high level security talks on terrorism and border trading for India and Pakistan. The talks happened though undercover in Bangkok. Look, I'm sorry, I just don't think Bangkok is the best place to talk about terrorism. Not unless you plan to kill terrorists them long time. There's bound to be a few distractions. Okay, let's talk terrorism. Ji Janab, you want talk talk? No, no, we are talking terror. Ji Janab. Okay, okay, you want Tiger Temper? Look, man, this is an important step for our nations, all right? Ji Janab. Okay, okay, you want massage? Listen, man, terrorism is a global problem, all right? Yeah, bro, ji janab. Massage have happy ending. You know, sir, our nations have been at war for a very long time. I think this story deserves a happy ending. Ji janab. <laughs> okay, 5,000 baht. No refund. And that brings us to a segment we like to call Serious Shit. Because you know, India-Pakistan talks have gone through various different stages, you know what I mean? Blah, 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 And then there was a stage where it was sort of <sighs> Then we had the other stage which was kind of <sighs> Blah, 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 <sighs> And now it's this weird stage where India's sort of like Everybody, go to Pakistan! Huh? What the fuck? But there are literally two reactions every time India and Pakistan begin to talk to each other. They need to admit they are terrorists. They also need to admit they are terrorists. And of course, the more popular reaction, which is Sachin, Sachin. <laughs> but we all seem to have this common sentiment in India, at least, which is that Indians are totally different than Pakistanis. So let's talk about a couple of the differences between India and Pakistan, shall we? If you live in Pakistan, the government and religion tell you that you cannot eat certain types of meat. India doesn't eat beef. Hey, Pakistani women are barred from wearing like revealing clothes, okay? Indian women are assaulted for wearing revealing clothes. Hey, in Pakistan, everybody has beard, na? Compulsory. India is full of hipsters. Pakistanis, when they travel abroad, they are called Pakis, okay? Indians, when we travel abroad, we are called Pakis, okay? Pakistanis have like a corrupt cricket team who like fixes matches and stuff. Hey, these Pakistanis just have like these musicians on coke studio, okay? Hey, India has lots of Pakistani musicians on coke studio, okay? Hey, Pakistan is just violent because they've got too many Muslims, okay? India has more Muslims than Pakistan, okay? Hey, all these Pakistani liberals live in Pakistan. Indian liberals are told to live in Pakistan. Pakistan has like beautiful women. India has beautiful women. Pakistan has like beautiful men. India is importing beautiful Pakistani men. Pakistan has like a government that is totally authoritarian and doesn't listen to its people's voice, okay? So as you can see, totally different. This is a really cool story. Mark Zuckerberg, ladies and gentlemen, or as you know him, Healthy Jesse Eisenberg, gave away $45 billion because of the birth of his daughter. And I think this is the important lesson that we can learn from that. Kids always be generous and do charity. And number two, kids don't be an asshole to people. Because if you do, you'll have to spend $45 billion to get them to like you again. And now it's time for a segment we like to call Crappy Ads. Let's talk about Sunita, ladies and gentlemen. Get up, 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 get Okay, guys, 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 wait, 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 picture abhi baki hai. What? Now you know Sunita by many names. There's the Airtel 4G girl. Oh, f 20 years from now, ladies and gentlemen, there will come a time when Sunita has taken over everything, runs everything, is uber powerful, and people will need to come together to stop her. Hi, guys. Oh no, no, it's the Airtel girl, I don't want to die. Okay, everybody put your phones up in the air. 
I don't want to die. What network are you on? I'm on idea. Idea? Idea? <laughs> <laughs> now everybody, what do we say? 4G, 4G. Put the phone down, Sunita. Oh yeah? Who's gonna make me? Kya aapke toothpaste mein namak hai? This town isn't big enough for both of us, Colgate. Actually, Sunita, there's more than just two of us. Go f*** yourself, Harpik. You don't know who you're messing with. I'm back. <gasps> Maggie? Tumare ki taan ko nikal na hoga. That all? Uh-uh. Looks like shit is getting dark in here. Fair and lovely? Well, if that's the way it's gonna be, that's the way it's gonna be. 4G! Namak! Namak! Blue shit! 4G! Lead content! 4G! Racist hangover of colonial oppression! 4G! 3G! 2G! She's gone for now, but she'll be back. I am Optimus Prime, and I send this message to any surviving Autobots taking refuge among the stars. We are here. We are waiting.